So what's the best way to clean golf balls? You might remember from a previous video, which I'll link below, I compared the middle of a brand new ball to the core of a very dirty lake ball. Today I'm going to attempt to clean this lake ball to see if I can get it as clean as a brand new golf ball. I'll be using two different methods to clean them. In one pot I'll use bleach and in the other I'll use washing up detergent. I'm not sure if either will get the ball clean but in this extremely scientific test at least you'll know which one once and for all is the best way to clean your golf ball because we all want clean balls. But don't worry if the detergent doesn't work I've got a backup plan. My wife is planning on going to the shops later and I think her toothbrush would be perfect for cleaning these golf balls. Let's hope for her sake the balls come out spotless. So both halves are very dirty and have been submerged in an extremely dirty lake for a very long time. First thing we need to do is to boil the kettle. That's why I'll be using boiling water with the cleaning products. Now let's pop those in, one in the bleach on the left and one in the detergent on the right. The time is 10.30ish and I'll leave them for a few hours to soak and see how they get on. One nap later. A quick check up and after a few hours it shows me the dirt is beginning to come off the balls. This might actually work. A few moments later. Right, we are now three hours later. We're gonna have a little update. So you can see there's some debris that's come out. Looks like it's loosened a lot. So this is the bleach. And this is the um, washing up liquid. So let's start with washing up liquid. We're gonna put it in the sink and we're gonna see how it comes out and give it a rub down with a dirty old towel. Let's get the washing up liquid. So let's get it out first of all, let's have a little close up look. So 100% it's looking cleaner. You look a little close there, you can see you can actually make out the logo now. So let's get my dry cloth, start seeing how it's coming out. Wow, look at that. So actually, that's pretty impressive, given that it's just washing up liquid and I'm only wiping it with a towel. I've not even got my wife's toothbrush on it yet. So I wonder how clean we can get it when we get our toothbrush. Just need to wait for her to go out to the shops. Okay, so that's a little wipe over. So that's washing up liquid. Right, so I'm going to pop that to the side now. And then this is the, the bleach. So probably a bit cleaner, but let's give it a wipe over. Anyway. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Actually... This was probably the dirtiest side of the ball actually and that's come up pretty clean how clean can we get it so you can even see the logo now there you go let's give that a bit of a wipe over so we could test to see if you've got the dirtiest ball in your bag even one that you found in the lake and how clean you can get it and what you use to clean your balls with so let's have a little look so we've got on my left we've got the bleach and on my right we've got the, the washing up liquid. I'm not sure yet. I think it might need another hour. Drop it in there and then we're going to do the toothbrush test. So I've had time for a coffee which is really well, well needed. And don't forget we might have to resort to the toothbrush but don't tell my wife um, in this section here. So let's see how we get on. So in here we've got half ball with bleach, half ball with detergent. And we're going to pop them in the sink and give them a good scrub and we'll see which one's the cleanest. Let's go. So just to remind you, so this is the tailor-made ball. This is the one that's brand new and we want to get it this clean. So we're going to compare both balls to this to see which one is closest to a completely white new golf ball. So let's get going. So first of all, we're going to go with the detergent. So get a cloth, give it a good wipe over again. This is just a dry cloth. It'd be really interesting to see how much of that dirt around the side actually comes off now. And you can see straight away, the dry bit is actually off. I don't know if they're gonna actually need the toothbrush technique. So let's see. Okay, so not too bad. So you can see here, a bit of residual dirt around the sides, but generally that's pretty good. So, right, let's do it. There we go. Now wipe over with a cloth. Right. Okay, that might be the best that we can do. 
there's still some dirt around the top there. That's not coming off. Right, let's go onto the bleach now. So straight out, before I even rub it down, that looks a lot cleaner already. Let's get the dry cloth on it. I've tried most of it now. I'm not sure, it still isn't perfect. So let's resort to this, give it a good clean. And now we're dry with the cloth. Let's see how we get on. Well, this is actually going to be really interesting and probably not what I expected. So, let's have the comparison. So, the ball on the left was used with bleach. The ball on the right was used with washing detergent, washing up liquid. Which one do you think, left or right? I think this one's the cleanest. I think the washing up detergent was the, was the best impact on keeping the ball clean. And when you compare it, it's not too bad. So if you're looking to clean your balls, I would 100% use washing up detergent. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. A lot of you don't subscribe and it makes a real difference. And I'll catch you in the next one.